Welcome to our lecture online. Now we're going to take a look at a differential equation, which again is not exact when we start out with it. We'll need an integrating factor, but the integrating factor in this case is not going to be the typical x to the m, y to the n type of integrating factor. And the reason, of course, is because we have a function that inv involves cosine and sines, or a differential equation, I should say, that involves cosines and sines. So let's first put in the general format by moving what's on the right side to the left side and set it equal to zero. So it gives us two times the cosine of pi y times dx minus pi times the sine of pi y dy. So, and then of course equal to zero, which means this is the general format of m uh, times dx n times dy is equal to zero. And now we'll show you why we can say that this is not an exact equation. We're going to take the partial of m with respect to y, which is equal to the partial with respect to y of this quantity right here, which is uh, 2 times the cosine of pi y, which is equal, of course, the derivative of the cosine would be the negative sine times the derivative of the angle that would be minus 2 pi times the sine of pi times y, because it is in respect to the angle pi y. All right, let's do the same for the partial derivative of n, now in this case with respect to x, which is equal to the partial with respect to x of this quantity right here, which is minus pi times the sine of pi y. Um, okay, that's it. And here you can say that since we're taking the derivative with respect to x, and there's no variable x in here at all, then this is simply equal to zero. And so you can see that those two are not equal. And therefore, we know that it's not exact. So what we're going to do here is we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by the integrating factor. In this case, the integrating factor can be assumed to be uh, e to the 2x. So if we use that as an integrating factor, let's see what happens. We're going to multiply this equation times e to the 2x. So that means we get e to the 2x times 2 cosine pi y times dx minus e to the 2x times pi sine of pi y dy is equal to zero. So now let's see if we now have an exact equation. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing again. The partial of m with respect to y is equal to. So notice that this now becomes a constant and this then would be the same derivative as what I had before. So this would be e to the 2x times minus 2 pi times the sine of pi y. All right, now we do the same here. We take the derivative with respect uh, of n with respect to y, which is equal to, now we take the derivative of this quantity right here. So now we do have an e to the 2x. We do have an x variable. All this becomes a constant. So this would be uh, minus 2 times e to the 2x, so minus 2 e to the 2x times this quantity right here, which is going to be pi times the sine of pi y. And if we look carefully, we can see that this is exactly the same. We have an e to the 2x, we have a minus 2 and a minus 2, we have a pi and a pi, a sine pi y and a sine pi y. So these two are equal, and therefore they are exact. And then we can find the solution to this differential equation. Now, how do we find the solution? Well, just like we did before, we can say that uh, the partial of u with respect to x is equal to m. And in this case, m with the integrating factor will be equal to this quantity right here. So this will be equal to e to the 2x uh, times 2 times the cosine of pi y, okay? And so therefore we can say that the partial of u is equal to m times the partial of x, or u is equal to the integral of m times the partial of x, plus a function of y, because here in this case y is kept a constant, so we can say that u is equal to the integral of m, which is e to the 2x, times 2 times the cosine of pi y, and that would be times the partial of x, plus some function of y. Then notice that since we're taking the integral with respect to x, this all will be a constant. We do need a 2 delta x 
to compensate for the angle, so we need the proper differential. So we have u is equal to, the 2 will disappear, we have e to the 2x times the cosine pi y plus some function of y. All right, so this is our solution or at least we'll derive our solution from that, realizing, of course, that u is equal to a constant, but we don't know what f of y is. So we're going to do this again, but in this case, we're going to say that the partial of u with respect to y can be written as n, which is equal to, in this case, n will be this quantity right here, which is a minus e to the 2x times pi times the sine of pi y. Oh, we don't need a dy there. All right, so there's n. So therefore, we know that u will be equal to the integral of n times the partial of y plus some function of x, because in this case, x will be kept constant. And of course, n is equal to this quantity right there. So this is equal to minus the integral of e to the 2x times pi times the sine of pi y times the partial of y plus some function of x. So since x in this case is a constant, we're only integrating over y. That means we need the proper differential. We need the pi delta y to integrate the sine of pi y. And of course, the derivative sine is the cosine, so the integral of the sine is the negative cosine, which negates this negative right here, which means that u is equal to the pi disappears, the negative disappears. This will become a cosine, so it's e to the 2x. The pi is needed for the differential times the cosine of pi y plus some function of x. <clears throat> so now when we compare these two answers together, notice they both have an e to the 2, oh, this should be 2x, not 2 pi, of course, times the cosine of pi y plus a function of x plus a function of y. That means in this case, the function of x must equal the function of y, which means that they must be equal to a constant. Let's call it some constant C1. And we also know that u must be equal to a constant because du is equal to zero. So therefore, we can then say that the solution can be found by, by calling this a constant, by calling that a constant, combining the two. So a constant is equal to e to the 2x times the cosine of pi times y. And there is the solution to the original differential equation. That's how we do that with integrating factors.